What's up guys, it is Jay Beeps here and welcome to the second episode of the Real Sociedad B Road to Glory. If you did not see the first episode that came out yesterday, go ahead, go back and watch it. But basically what happened, we started our we started the journey. We got we got rid of a lot of players, which gave us a little bit more money to then go out and buy. And then not really, we didn't really buy anybody, we we gained financial power. So hopefully today's episode we can get some good players. From the Youth Academy, we signed two players who I really hope can end up being studs at the club. But obviously, it's going to take a little while for them to get there. And we only finished a couple of spots off a of playoff spot, so maybe this year is the year that we go up. Let's find out. So we're starting off by selling Emmanuel Escordia to Norwich for $7.3 million. So again, we just got $5 extra million right there. Andrew Martin will be joining Sif Spore over in Turkey for 1.6 million. And Donnie Zubere will be joining Rangers for 2.8 million. Kayaka Ayesa will be joining Celtic over in Scotland for 3.2 million. Roberto Lopez will be joining Cadiz CF for 7.3 million. Okay, so obviously we just raised a whole lot of money. First batch of that money that we're now going to be spending will be going towards Tedden Menji, the Manchester United center back. We have bought him for 3.15 million. We have also brought in Brian Oko from Spurs, the young Swiss center back, 3.75 million. Another 68 overall center back, building that back line a little bit. Dimitor Mitov will be joining the team to be a backup goalkeeper. He is from Cambridge United, my personal favorite club. I needed like a, a mid 60s backup goalkeeper for Nunez. Why not go after Mitov? Ian Masterson is also joining the team from Coventry City, the young left wing back from the Netherlands. Got him for 4.25 million. So now we have, we just bought two new center backs and a left back, all young, all from the English side of the footballing world. So hopefully they can have some good chemistry together. And I've also bought Scott Maloney. He's from Barrow, who I've done a series with, needed a third string goalkeeper, just kind of be someone on the reserve list. 360k, very good deal. And we are now starting the league. We're finally here. We are hosting CD Tenerife at the Real Arena. And this is the team we're going with. Obviously, Nunez is in goal. Menji and Oko are the center backs. Blasco Mattinson on are the outside backs. Bacorni is the defensive mid. Loku Singali central midfielders. Dehora is the attacking mid and Labete and Martin are the strikers. Here are the highlights. So I mean obviously quite a boring game. 1-0 victory for us but I mean a win is a win. Yeah there's not really much to say about this game. But looky who we have here. Now if you notice that attacking mid I don't even know who he is. So obviously we had to go out, we'd get someone new. And that man is Caden Clark from New York Red Bulls. The young American attacking mid, 6.3 million. I'm obviously an American. He's someone that I really hope could be a good player for us. But hopefully in obviously the real world and on FIFA, 70 overall, he's now, now even one of the better players at the club. So hopefully he's got very high potential as well. Dynamic potential on top of that, he should be a stud for us in the future. Marco Gonzalez has been sold to FC Basel over in Switzerland for 2.85 million. And Dehora, that attacking mid that we now thankfully no longer need, his release clause was just activated. He will be joining Turkish side Galatasaray for 4.55 million. Jan Olasagatsi will be joining the German side Bochum for 2.5 million. Inyaki Riccio will be joining Reading. He was our left back towards the end of last season. He will be joining them for 1.9 million. Jorge Aguere will be joining Darmstadt for 1.7 million. And obviously we have a lot of money to spend. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to buy a five-star, five-star youth academy scout who is going to Spain for nine months. Get us some technically gifted players. Let's get some young, you know, some of those young midfielders. Also have a five-star, five-star scout who will be going to Italy to help get some back help for our back line. And finally, a four-star, four-star scout going to Portugal just to get some strong players, stir up the spine of this team. 
Javier Monton will be joining at Tijuana over in Mexico for 2.35 million. Martin Gutierrez will be joining the team from the Youth Academy. Young, right back. We just need a little bit of depth because we do currently have 20 players at the club. Same goes for the promotion of Salvador Bernal. Diego Iglesias. Adam Lang has been sold to Danish side FC Copenhagen for 1.3 million. And we are now at January, and things are not looking too great for us. We are 10 points below 9th, who are then at least 3 spots behind a playoff spot. So things are not looking good for us, but I think I've kind of decided this year, we just, I think it's just kind of going to kind of be a rebuild year. Obviously, you guys have seen all the transfers that have happened. I mean, we've sold like over $30 million worth of players. Obviously, we've got to bring in players. I'm bringing in younger players, so obviously they're not going to be at the same level as the players that they replaced was. But in the future, they will hopefully be best. Marco Nunez will be joining the team from the Youth Academy of the Young Portuguese right back, 71 to 93 potential. He is only five foot five. That is a little concerning, but he's playing right back. Not hopefully he doesn't get in any situations where he's having to do aerial duels in the box. Joaquim Vaz is also joining the first team. Portuguese defensive midfielder, six foot two. A good replacement for Pokerny eventually in the future. Obviously, 77 to 94 potential. Maybe even have him drop back, play center back in the future. Don't know. Carlos Arias will be also be joining the first team. Spanish striker. Pretty good potential, very quick. Gonchalvo Borges is also joining the team, but he's just adding, he's just joining for depth. And the same thing goes, unfortunately, for Federico Colombo. And looky who we have now just brought in. You guys know I'm American. We already bought Caden Clark in. Why not also bring in Ricardo Pepe, the young American striker who has recently just moved to Augsburg in the German second tier, I believe. So hopefully you'll be getting... Actually, no, I think they're in the first tier. I don't know. He joined them. Uh, but we were able to get him for $6.5 million. Very tall, very good finisher, and a very good potential. And we're now traveling... In our, I actually think it's our first game traveling that I've actually played. We're going to the Estadio La Rosella to face off against Malaga. And this is the team we're going with. Sticking with that 4-1-2-1-2. Back line is the same as it has been. Same for the midfield, except now Clark is starting attacking mid. And Pepe makes his debut at striker. Here are the highlights. So we were able to pull off the win, 4-3 victory over Malaga, but they statistically should have done better, but hey, the only thing that matters is that scoreline. And look who we have also brought in, Cade Cowell. Again, another young, promising American talent. He's very quick, very good dribbler, and also can, is a decent finisher. So now, what I'm thinking is, you know, Caden Clark at that attacking mid position, and then Cowell and Pepe up top. Cowell can obviously get it behind the defense. Pepe can do a little bit of hold-up play. So hopefully that front three of the American, the American Trident, hopefully those three guys can be their starters for a very long time and obviously be great. But we splashed a lot of cash this year. And we're now hosting in the round of 32 in the Copa de España. We are hosting Cadiz CF. And we are playing the same formation. The only change we've made is now, obviously, Cowell is starting at that right striker position. Here are the highlights.
when you sign three when you sign in this formation we're playing an attacking mid and two starting strikers all young and promising you want to be scoring five goals every game we were able to do so five to two victory 6.6 expected goals so we still did a pretty good job at the chances that we created but things are looking really dangerous because we are we're starting to heat up a little bit Hulin Lobete has been sold to Brentford because he's now obviously not playing anymore, but we were able to get $14 million for him. And now, on to the next round of the Copa de España. We are hosting Real Zaragoza. The lineup is the same as it is because these games take place like three days apart. Here are the highlights. So it looks like our luck finally ran out. We did finally face a team that is better than us and actually played better than us. 3-2 loss. Not the end of the world. I mean, we still made it pretty far, a lot further than I expected. So we just got, now we just got to focus on the league. Joaquim Vaz will be going in a short loan move to CD Todella, fellow Spanish side, for the rest of the year. Okay. I also brought in Yossi Zardes. Okay, so... If you don't know, he plays for the Columbus crew. They were, I was a big fan of them. He's a very good striker as well. He's very quick and he's got good finishing. On FIFA, he is such a good player. So that's another reason why I brought him in. And now we got a good striker rotation between Zardes, Cowell, and Pepe. And yes, I am just essentially signing all the Americans that I want. And, I mean, unfortunately, this is a very good signing now because Caden Clark tore his MCL. He's gonna be out for three months, effectively ending his season. So, good thing I just signed Zardes, because I think now we got to switch things up. Esteban Marcos will be joining the team from the Youth Academy. Spanish striker, 82-92 to 92 potential. Five-star, five-star. Rodal Naronja will also be joining. 55 overall, 86-94 to 94 potential striker. He is only 5'6", so I might convert him to that attacking mid role eventually. Don't know. Nacho Pardo will also be joining the team. I mean, he's got a really nice name, so I think I'm going to end up keeping him. And he does also have 80 to 94 potential, so it's not like he's a bad player either. Ilya Valente will be joining the team from the Youth Academy. Italian center back, 82 to 94 potential. Get him rotated in and out. Could be a very good player for us. Carlos Arias will be going on a one-year loan move to Portuguese side Aruca once next season. Nicola Guerra will be joining the team from the Youth Academy. Italian right back. Nothing too special about him, but he does have A294 potential, so added him to the bench. Massimo Gallo will also be joining Italian center back. He's 6'6 six six with a natural 5-star weak foot. Absolute weapon on the field. And in the month of April, we did so well that I actually got manager of the month. Antonio Algardi is also joining the team, 74-94 potential. And Zolio will be leaving the club once his contract expires this year. He will be joining German side Dusseldorf. Alexander Beck has been sold to TSV Havels. Oh, I, can't, I can picture the crest, can't remember where they're from, for 640k. So in the league, we ended up finishing in 11th, 9 points off of a playoff spot. So essentially where we were last year. However, I think that this team is much, much better than it was last year. We just need a little bit of time. Obviously, that's gonna, that's what you're going to need when you have all these young players. So next season, we should really be able to make a run. And obviously, in the Copa de Spina, we did make it to the round of 16, but we did get knocked out by Real Zaragoza. Nunez, Pocorni, and Singali appeared in every game for us. Pepe led the team in goals scored with 12 and only 23 appearances. And Singali and Cowell tied for 11, but Cowell did have 11 and 19. So if we're able to get this production from Pepe and Cowell in a full calendar season, we will be unstoppable. Luku was also the leading assister for the club with 12. Singali just behind him with 9. And our goalkeeper Nunez had 5. So, 
very interesting. I, I would love to know how that works. I've never gotten an assist with him, but I would love to see the replays on some of those. And the only player that will be departing the club is Zolio. So we're keeping the core team together. We did not hit every single objective, but 78 manager rating, we should keep our job. And looking at the team, I don't think we need any improvements. I think we just need a little bit more time. I mean, our entire back line is all young and promising. Everyone except for Picorni in a center midfield is young and improving. And our strike force is absolute weapons. So we don't need to buy any new players, I don't think. I think we just need a little bit more time. And hopefully we don't need too much more time after next season. Hopefully we get promoted. That is ultimately my goal for next episode is to get promoted, get into La Liga, and see what things go like from there. So yeah, um, yeah, a little bit of uh, American bias in that episode, buying a lot of American players. Probably not the greatest of decisions to make either. However, I did it, I made it. But yeah, I mean, a lot of turnover. Uh, so many players sold, so many players bought. Uh, if, you're, if you, I feel bad for the people that didn't watch this episode and then actually watch the third one because they're not going to recognize a single player of the club. I think Singali and Picorni are the only original starters from the club already. We're done with our second season. So obviously things happened a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode will be coming out tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new. And it is Jay Beebs signing off. <laughs>